Hello, and uh, welcome to another episode of Strategic Investment. Alright, so let's get started. Um, first thing to talk about is patience. So when you sell a put on the New York Stock Exchange or Canadian Exchange, it's mostly Canadian, pays more, you can, have, you have to wait. So if you if you close the trade out early you you get paid to open the trade but then you have to pay to close the trade so you're giving some of the money you earned back and win or lose you should you shouldn't do this it's uh it's just better to get the shares than to give the money back so that's how it is and you can keep getting this premium every single month to grow your account and you just have to wait like let me show you if this thing's gonna work oh yeah that's a lot better dark mode so yeah it's a uh, colony right here this is what I got going on and you see it, it actually it has really strong resistance at the, uh, the $25 level so it's, it's just like Teflon, it won't breach it. Let's zoom out, let's zoom out. So, yeah, the last time, 23, 24, 20. And we have really good resistance at the at the $25 mark right here. So I sold a $25 put and that expires, let's see here, in nine days. Go ahead and load. Take it just a second. Yes, so I sold it for two hundred dollars, and uh, my wife sold hers for more because she was set a higher price. But um, I'm selling and now. I can buy it back for fifty-five cents to close the trade, and Coney is sitting at twenty-five sixty-five. Now a lot of people would get scared. And they would close the trade at this is the, the price of the county right now is close to the price that you sold the put at, which means that if it goes below, it goes to twenty dollars, you're still going to have to spend two thousand five hundred dollars. That's just the cost of doing business. Uh, if you're not willing to accept those risks, you should never do this. In fact, don't do this. I am not telling you to do this. Never do this, because. Uh, SEC go away. That's why. Don't do this. But this is what I do. Just me. Because I run an investment company. And uh, it's how I make money. And uh, well one of the ways. I make some money several ways. Most of them are perfectly fine. And uh, yeah. When you sell this you have to wait about 30 days. So another thing you have to have as far as patience is you have to know how much money you have. So right now I have three thousand dollars, so that I could borrow to manage this position. So if I got assigned to hold this position and keep it open and to keep the shares, I had to pay two thousand five hundred dollars. So you should assume that you get assigned because this is the prudent thing to do, not just hope and pray that you don't get assigned because you sold way too many puts. You only sell the amount of puts that you can actually cover. You do, otherwise, you're selling naked puts. You should never do this because it will destroy your portfolio. This happened to me back in 2020. I got a little bit too greedy. I had to learn my lesson. I had to get my ass burned. But now, I'm fine. I know better. Um, <clears throat> what's my margin sitting at? So, just go to uh, home right here. Do, 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 do. Uh, I guess we're skipping around. We'll talk about the 7K eclipse, the margin. Alright. So, my margin right here is this number right here is the one you need to pay attention to. SMA uh, is $3,385.33. So, that's how many shares I could take out of the market today, as far as how much buying power I have. 
uh, to hold those indefinitely as uh, long as the dividends keep paying them off. Uh, I should be fine and eventually I'll own 100% of it. But right now I own 100% of my portfolio because Strategic has been just putting that line and reeling it all in. It's been a great month. Um, so the buying power is sitting at 16k for intraday trading. I am not a day trader. I would not recommend day trading and uh, it's just not a good idea. 90% of day traders lose money. Trust me, you're not as good as you think you are. And what does that bring me to? Oh yeah, 7k. Yeah, so I just passed 7k and uh, I started this account two months ago with nothing. It ain't hard. You just keep buying assets, you're getting paid, and rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah? Ain't hard. Just do it. Actually, don't do it. Don't don't do it. I gotta tell you not to do it because you know, my brother went to jail for telling people that it might be a good idea to do it. So don't. I'm telling you not to. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. So what we got here? Oh yeah, the eclipse in Mississippi. Oh, uh, nothing to see. Nothing to see at all. Just kind of a non-event. Uh, my wife took the children outside and there was nothing to see so we just went back inside that was into that and uh, so we had margin we talked about margin buy 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 and buy some more all right so to do that we just go to stocks and options to do strategic dividend snowball so let's see where we're at see if we're on schedule so yes we're actually ahead of schedule on the snowball so I, I always don't necessarily have a plan I might be like a dog chasing cars don't know who do I've actually caught one but you know I might want to have an idea so that's what, that's what this is about uh, I'm supposed to be at 4938 I have 7000 so it was assuming I would buy 50 shares um, month but some things happened like the uh, kayak rental blew up and uh, sold some sheep and liquidated some canoes I didn't need because they weren't fucking renting so that's what happened with that I'm doing great so I was able to accelerate this snowball and now I'm um, about a month and a half ahead of schedule yay so we'll keep that going as far as we can um the monthly distribution is still about right. So, for dividends, I do receive about two hundred and forty-six dollars of dividends uh, a month on that seven k, which is a nice bump, nice bit of help. And uh, I sold one option for two hundred dollars. So, total recurring revenue right now for Strategic's portfolio is four hundred and forty-six dollars a month that's really good so yeah I'm quite happy with that I need to get it a little higher because the debt payments are about 600 so they're not quite to my goal but I know it won't be too long now where I have succeeded in my initial mission of making sure that I could pay all my debts and all my bills with my dividends alright Yep, uh, say so this is going to snowball pretty quick. Uh, should be banking over a thousand a month at the end of this year. Well, yeah, a year and then January, at the end of January, I'll be over a thousand. So that, that's really good. Um, what else I got for you? Bye, 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 and buy some more. Okay, now my part I in is. Uh, I mostly with playing with margin I don't want to buy 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 and buy some more on margin but if I see a good stock that pays a good dividend that I like I will happily snatch it up because um, why not I mean it puts money in my pocket if something puts money in your pocket you want to buy it that's what you want but don't do it because the SEC won't like it. I think it's because the government doesn't want you to know how to do 
anything to do with making the government wants you to work till you die just work till you die i've been to work since 2020 but the government wants to work work you till you die so just just do that don't do what i do is dangerous being an entrepreneur and having a business and employees and yeah that's just dumb no no don't, don't do that no let me do that you do something else um beer um, so, a uh, long story, I went to um, see my mother's and they drank out as well. I hadn't drank in a while and ever since then I've had massive, well, I've had a stomach ache. And uh, the reason I'm drinking this beer and a shit ton of coffee right now is I need to flush my system. So, this is uh, beer and coffee are natural diuretics. So, I need to flush whatever got in my system that's causing my stomach ache out so cheers to better health for a limited time this is actually to better health not joking anyways uh in high profit month don't know what i did let me let's you know, it's just kind of pointless but um do, 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 do. what did i do there we go I don't need cash out, I just need cash in. Uh, to do, to do. Uh, yeah. Well, so, yes. And this size, the 